People tend to think that I created it, but I just worked on it for many years after its creation. Um, so as it turns out, Mike Nelson was actually, by happenstance, uh, my mentor while I was an intern uh, in the summer of 2002 at VMware. And <clears throat> I distinctly remember uh, over that summer uh, seeing a demo of vMotion. The first time I think he had shown it in, internally, let alone externally. Uh, but it was pretty cool because they had like, this is, I think, Windows 98 time frame <laughs> type thing he was still using. And so he basically had like the old pinball game. And so he had two you know, ESX servers and uh, they were connected over the network. <clears throat> and he had um, you know, two monitors, one for each one. And, and uh, on one of the monitors, he had a VM up and running and it was an old Windows 98 thing playing pinball. And he'd shoot the pinball off and you'd see it kind of arcing around the, uh, the surface there. <clears throat> and he'd execute the vMotion. And sure enough, the window would pop up on the other side and the ball would keep moving and everything was just going like it was. And we even did demos with like uh, Windows Media Player and other sorts of things to show that, hey, like there's like no blip in the video. So it was like really, really cool stuff uh, that he had. <clears throat> now, how he came up with it, I think some of the early thoughts or some of these early things happened a bit before my time when I was interning. But I do re recall seeing an email from him Mike Nelson at some point, uh, I think maybe in the spring of that year, <clears throat> basically with the observation that like, hey, we have this ability to serialize VM state through our checkpointing mechanisms, right? So you could do, at the time you could do suspend and resume. And what that did was you had to basically save the entire state of the virtual machine and serialize it, <clears throat> i.e. put it into some like, you know standard format and, and save it to disk. And then you can uh, restore the whole thing sometime later on. And his observation was, well, hey, if we can do this to a disk, why can't we do this over the network? And um, obviously, that there's a there's a few more things to do there in order to to really get it such that there's no interruption to the VM. Uh, you you want to send? Well, I guess actually, now that I think about it, this would actually happen. Okay, sorry, I'm thinking out loud here. But I was going to say you have to send a reverse ARP to. Like kind of wake up the network to tell it, hey, that, that this IP address is now available here. But we would actually have to do that on a VM restore anyway. So generally speaking, pretty much all the basics were there except for the network transfer of the data. And that's where you need things like pre-copy uh, to iteratively copy the memory so, so you can reduce it to a small enough working set that you can then copy that over while the VM is being suspended and resumed on the other host. Um, so he was a very sharp guy and he saw you know pretty clearly hey that this is very doable so he went out and did it now i don't i never met or not, never really known bill joy but i i think mike nelson and bill joy are kind of kindred spirits in the sense that like what i always heard about bill joy was that the dude could just like rip out code and, and just go so fast but the code was basically unmaintainable to anyone except for bill like everyone else was like what is going on here it's like this makes no sense yet he was fine with it mike nelson was very similar so I remember uh, a couple of years later, after I'd come back full time and uh, after I'd worked on another project, I started looking into vMotion and I was just like, I was staring at this code, like trying to get my head wrapped around, like how did this thing actually work? And it took me a long time to, to get my head fully wrapped around. I was, luckily, Mike was still here at the time, so I was able to go back and get advice from him. But um, after I took over, I had to sort of essentially rewrite the whole thing in, in a way that, that was maintainable by myself and, and others.